Hey YouTube, just uh, watching YouTube and they're talking about you know the, the next console, the 360 PS3, the console after that and about Yuzo's statement was the console will have no drive. I completely disagree with this. Okay, I agree with it in principle for the PC. I think the PC will go that way with, you know, at the moment with Steam, it's doing pretty well and on live, whenever that happens, that will do well. So I see it for PC. But for 360, PS3 or whatever the new console will be called, there's a few flaws and it just will not happen. And these are the reasons, okay? One is um, kind of like file sharing, okay? Someone will buy a game, you know, a full game, and they'll give their account to a trusted mate. They could download their account, you know, like you can do now. You can um, recover the account. And then it will say under the game, like, oh, you've already bought it like re-download they will re-download it you know so some, that person's downloading the game that they haven't bought and they've got it and then the other person will recover the game uh, the the account back that will happen and there's not much way of stopping that so uh, illegal sharing like that will become even more rife than it is at the moment so for one they won't do that you know they they would prefer it to be on discs they will not do it they would not do games digitally. The biggest reason is mainly the time. Okay, so if you're gonna download a game on Steam, took four to five hours. Then depend uh, depending on connection, mine is absolutely shocking. So it took ages. Okay, I could have gone to my shop, minute, gone there, bought the game, come back, put it in in less than five minutes. I just people will not wait that long to play a game or download a game onto the hard drive okay and say if if people do want to do that the problem is I, I, this is a made up figure but I would say 80 to 90 percent of the gamer market buy their games and you know they want this new game that comes out they will sell their other game or they'll trade it in to get another game I think every game has done that use the used game market is absolutely massive and uh, you know, stores like H and V are now doing used games because they know how big it's. You know, it's got, and you know, people paid thirty nine quid or forty quid for the game. Uh, they completed it, and they would have sell it for I don't know, like thirty quid, maybe less. Um, and then they will buy the latest game that comes out that week, and it's only cost them a tenner or less. And that's it. You know, it's only cost them a tenner. If it was downloads, it'll cost them 40 quid, they can't sell it, and then they'll have to wait for another game, or wait for more money to buy another game for 40 quid. It just will not happen, even with the deals like Steam does, it just won't happen, and people will buy less games, you know, not, not everyone's able to put 40 quid here, 40 quid there, 40 quid there, people just won't do it. So I just don't see this happening. It may be incorporated like games on demand, but see how popular games on demand is. I would say I don't know no one that's used it. So that just shows you how popular it is. It will not happen even in five to ten years. Whenever it is, um, I still see it being on an item, maybe a smaller disc, maybe or something like that. But it will not be digitally downloadable or the main whole resale of that game will not be digital there will be an item or a disc that you could buy because the used market is too big for it and people just won't buy 40 quid for every game and people will play less games and it will ruin the market just wanted to put my little thought on it um, if you've got any opinions please put a comment or maybe a video um, I'd love to see or I'd love to hear what your comments on this are as well Alright, see you next time.